Yo guys, what's going on? How are we doing? Today's video, I wanted to talk about some really hot Zetas for the month of July. So that's what today's video is. I only have five for today. And I know some of these guys you're not going to have. One of which being a Kaori Mundi. But these are ones that I feel like are just really, really important to have right now. With the addition of Kenobi into the game. Mostly all of these are played into part with a Kenobi or with a future commander soka coming in next month um so it's kind of prepping you for kind of both things here so let's go and talk about five of these these are the five ones here um first things first let's get kiati moody out of the way um he he's really good with the zeta um you have this jedi cancel zeta here it's his only one he's got you only get 30 speed i say only but that's like a lot of extra speed so with this uh unique you don't have to have it zeta but it's a big but. I think you need this Zeta if you plan on using him with Kenobi, the Master Kenobi in arenas, in GACs, in really any aspect of this game. This Zeta helps you in a lot of different aspects because you're going to be able to go first with your GL Kenobi. And he's actually one of the fastest GLs in the game. I think he's number three or maybe two. I really forget. I know I, I want to say Ray's the fastest or Kylo is. And then he's like right after those guys. Um, so, with that, he bumps up even faster, so he will be one of the fastest, if not, if not, he is the fastest. And then it just depends on the Kenobi's speed and, the, and your mods. Um, but that right there, his Zeta, allows for the Kenobi team to be even that much more deadly on the offensive and the defensive. So that's really just about it for Kenny Mooney Zeta. He's just so good, guys. Next up is Ahsoka Tano. So, my last video I did about um, on my channel was about Ahsoka and kind of praising her. And I'm praising her yet again in this video because I think that this Zeta on Daring Padawan is so, so good with Kenobi. I think this one and the Kiari Muni one, they go hand in hand. They are just so, so good. They're almost must-haves in my opinion. They are, they are definitely must-haves. But I feel like if you're at a spot in the game where you have a Kenobi, then you're, gonna, or you're going to already have this Zeta. But I just want to kind of show you how important it is. So it says here... If the ally leader is Galactic Republic, Ahsoka is called to assist whenever a Galactic Republic ally uses a special ability. So, in really any any case, any situation, you're going to be giving a lot of assists, which fuels the Kenobi's ultimate if you do have his ultimate. But even if you don't, like I don't have his ultimate right now, this is still a huge game changer because I can get around taunts even easier. I can dispel buffs even easier and crit them. So that way on a basic, if I do crit, I can dispel a debuff. On a critical hit so it makes it just that much better and it's a great relic to have because the higher you have a relic the higher crit chance so the higher um the higher chance you have of critting and to dispel more debuffs so it's a great one to have ahsoka tano mm -mm -mm. so so nice okay so you got two on the kenobi team and i think those were ones i really needed to kind of show you and, and let you know on because if you guys don't have a kenobi and you're going to get him soon. And then those are the ones I would kind of focus on because they're just so strong. So yeah, next one here, we're going to kind of, we're going to kind of uh, jump kind of away from the Kenobi and from the next Ahsoka. And let's just kind of briefly hit up on my man, my guy, Django Fett. So if you guys didn't watch another recent video of mine, I did a mod guide about the bounty hunters. So I think right now, this is more of a GAC thing, a Grand Arena zeta um but his zeta is so great on his leadership so his lead zeta you get some bonuses here so it says you your uh, enemies have ne um negative rather minus 20 percent potency for each debuff on all bounty hunters and then it says bounty hunters have 35 percent more offense while they have bounty hunters resolve so if you're thinking about a really strong bounty hunter lineup you're going to be using boba fett jango fett and the Mandalorian with, of course, Bosk and Grief. So you're going to have five, or rather three of those five with that Bounty Hunter's Resolve, right? So even that much more offense. And if you are going for Kenobi, well, guess what? You're already going to have this guy Relic 7. And then you're going to have probably some lower relics like the Boba Fett, like the Mandalorian. And then just thinking about those guys with the extra offense on the leadership, that is so much damage, guys. And also... I think his leadership is being used a lot more 
currently right now in GAC than it was previously. I know in Division 2 where I'm at, I see lots of Darth Revens. I see lots of Mon Mothmas. I see lots of Night Sisters still. Um, and just having this leadership available to me, it just destroys those teams. I am telling you, it is such an easy banner win. And it's just like the troopers to an extent because I can just get the right Zeta, not the right Zeta, the right turn order, the right modding. And then I just kind of get free wins. I get free banners. And it's just so nice to see because if the opponent um, goes and set those, sets one of those teams on defense, especially a Darth Revan team, I get free banners and then I can save another different team for defense if I wanted to or just keep one for offense. So Jango Fett's Zeta lead um, helps me so much. A lot more than you might think in GAC, in Grand Arenas, and even in TWs. That extra offense is huge. It helps burning down more BSFs, and it just really helps making those counters that much more smooth, getting those easy kills, and then getting the contract proc'd even faster. So it's a great one to have. I, I say that's probably one of the best Zetas for GAC right now in my whole list. I think it's a great one. So next up I want to talk about is the armor. And this, this chick... I really want to get her with Gear 13 just because I feel like there's going to be a huge need to want and to have her on some of these 3v5 teams, you know, with an Emperor, Watt and the Armor, or really whatever it is, maybe some more Mandalorians down the line, just really anything, just to have her in as a nice little substitute for a Watt or having her with a Watt. And this is on her, I want to say it's this one. Nope, next one. It's next one up. It's this one. It's earn your signet. It's with the Beskar. It says with three stacks, you have a 100% counter chance. So I know you probably don't. This is not a necessary one to have because with three stacks, you already can't be critically hit, right? But that counter chance helps you in so many different ways. The biggest one right now is with Kenobi. I'm saying this, guys. A lot of these guys are centered around Kenobi, um, whether it was, it was you know, intentional or not it just is the way it is right now with kenobi being in the game i'm thinking about lots of ways to counter this guy and just kind of making it a bit harder on on other other teams but really i think this is a great one to have because with the extra counter chance we're talking about like the emperor watt and the armor counter to a kenobi having more counter chance gives them more hits so it's easier to kill the kenobi team um but even in other ways as well i mean this is another great zeta to have this is just like one of those characters that is, it's nice to have a Zeta and you can still use her with lower gear, but I think you still need to get her higher gear, even with relics, to make the most out of her. Um, so another use, not in just the Kenobi counter, but if you wanted to kill a Kylo team, you can still use that JKR, the JKL, and then the armor team. But in that one, you got to make sure that she is a bit faster. And that's why I would recommend, I don't have it myself, but I would recommend to get relics and extra speed added on to the armor so you can make sure you get off the best guard very very fast in these counters and hit that three stacks as soon as possible so really this is just about more counters to gls and i think the armor does accomplish that very very well so that's her and then the last one here last but not least i wanted to bring up one of the most interesting ones i feel like i have here to bring for you guys today and that's mr quill um this so this one this one's really great. I think that the reason why this is on this list is not just for what it is doing currently with, you know, Rays or with the best Garmando teams out there, but this is going to be such an impactful Zeta to have once we get Commander Ahsoka Tano into the game. Because like I've been saying, guys, I think that you're going to have a full-on Galactic Republic Jedi team with Master Kenobi, and then we're going to have that commander Soka being slotted in with a GL Ray because there are there is so much synergy there with the Ray and Ahsoka with extra defense and health and then if you add this on it as well you can get even more of those bonuses. Um, we're thinking about having you know a GL Ray, Ahsoka, Quill, IG Eleven, and then possibly a Beskar Mando, and that's just that's just really so much extra stat sharing here, guys. It's very, very gross. Um, I, I think this is one to look at. So pretty much this just says, at the start of battle, the droid and scoundrel allies gain 40% of Quill's max health, um, offense, potency, and they gain 40% of his max protection until the first time he is defeated. So it's pretty much just like the 2PO, 3PO, and Chewie. 
and how that Zeta works with the Rebels. It's the same thing. You guys probably have already seen this before, but I just wanted to kind of share it yet again because I think for those of you who are out there going to be get, being able to get and unlock Commander Soka Tano in this next month of Conquest, this is one I would work on because this is a great one to have. Get this guy with some relics. You can you get even more of those stat bonuses and the stat sharing to go along with your team. So, yeah, I mean, I think this... The, these five right here, guys, these are five of, in my opinion, some of the hottest in a lot of different aspects of the game. I know I didn't really go over anything to do with raids, but I still think that these are the ones that I would be thinking are the hottest in terms of arenas, in GACs, in TWs, just a lot of different aspects in the game that matter the most to me, at least. And I would like to say for a lot of you guys out there as well because they're just so great. From Kiari Muni all the way down to Quill, these are some of my my favorite five Zetas right now in the game. I don't have Quill like we already see, but I'm going to work on him in the addition with the, the Commander Soka for the next month. So guys, that's probably it for today. If you guys like these, uh, these five, if you guys did not, let me know down below in the comments. And if you guys have any other video ideas you would like me to go and cover about the game, just let me know as well, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it around, and sub if you guys have not subbed yet. That's it for me today, guys. Today, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Peace out, and have a good one. See you guys.